Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania at the Silver Moon Antique Mall. Um, we haven't been here in a while, so we're going to get inside, see what we can find. They do have another store, Silver Moon Consignment Barn. So I'm going to try to do both places in this video today. Hopefully we can find some good stuff and not just one, but both. So let's get inside and check it out. Exterior, the police car is back. So we're going to get inside, check it out. I know that there are some new vendors in here for a fact. So here's hoping. We've got Golden Girl Realness over here um not what we're looking for there's some fiesta so one of my favorite vendors is right over here they consistently have some good stuff so we're gonna check out so if we oh, look at that one that lamp with that fiberglass shade i like the ceramic insert on that one matches very well with the lamps there um Got a decanter here. This one, I believe, is actually Spanish glass. That one's only 28. Not in love with it, I gotta say. Couple other pieces here. I mean, that display hutch is screaming 80s. Um, okay, so you don't spot anything there for us. It's okay. Let's check out over I'm telling you, that glass, that green, that glass, that green is just gaining in such popularity. Loving the old radio. This one is at 159 Philco Silvertone. Um, I don't see anything for us, so I'll hit you back here and see what we can find, guys. You do spot this piece. It's um, Elizabeth Arden. It's it, something Egyptian pharaohs. The treasures, treasures of the pharaohs. You know, I like the designs on these. It's a contemporary Egyptian revival. Um, they're not antique, but I think that if you do like your kind of Egyptian vibes to it, that's something definitely to check out. Most of the pieces can be had relatively inexpensive, too. Uh, I know they did a lot of the, um, a lot of like the Egyptian gods. A lot of black cats are done in there. Um, because you know those cats were worshipped as deities. Let's see, do we spot anything in here? I do like the little humidor here. I actually use one of these as a side table uh, in the bedroom. This one obviously wouldn't work too well as a side table because we have the handle going across there. This is probably copper or tin lined. Okay, that one's copper lined. I like them and it's, I mean, it's not a huge piece, but you know, mine has that. You have the interior storage plus the top. So that's a, if you like the kind of like the antique vibes, it's certainly something to keep your eye out for. All right, we'll see what else we can find here. What is this? Is it a washing machine? No, is it an oven time temp Westing house? What is this thing? Is it a pressure cooker? I don't know. I could probably read it. Westinghouse rotisserie and cabinet with two covered dishes. 225. That thing looks like a death trap to me. I'm not, <laughs> not even lying. This is a little large for shipping. Uh, so we'll see what else we can find. Look at the little salesman sample here. The little punch glass in the sandwich of pressed glass. It's adorable. I like this, the iridescence on this piece. It doesn't, it's not, I'm not in love with it, though I do like the color effect to it. Maybe we do have some jade color. This is a slag glass. It looks to be like it's a Fenton. There's an Imperial glass. No, it's Westmoreland. Matter of fact, 27 on that one. Oh, we do have some deers. Oh, I like this. It looks like it's a pilgrim glass. Pilgrim glass has like that very distinctive animal shape. That one's at 15. Looks like a Hager. Yeah, they have it as a Hager, the deer planter back there. Um, it's cute, but I'm not... Again, we're... Uh, there's something above my head, sorry. Um... He's not spotting anything else. Rude, chandelier. Trying to get your moment. Well, there you have it. Um, 
Let's see if we got anything over here. There's Paddington back there. Some old fishing lures. Those look wooden too. Oh, I see this guy. I think that, yeah, this is at 70. Oh, wow. A little cat squeak. That's at 20. There's a little Ruthie Newton. Rompy. This is actually my favorite one. Um, the red with the ginger hair. They made a variety of them. Blue. He's 18. It's really not that bad. Um, especially for the condition that he's in. I might hold on to him. I think I have one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to hold on to him. These are fun. Check out these retro pinball machines. The graphics are fantastic on them. It's like a full beach party going on. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What do you think? 50s, 60s on those? Fun to see. They're $17.95 each. $17.95 each. Um, this is pretty special. We've got a fiberglass advertising piece here. It, oh, advertising pig. $15.95. That's amazing. I wonder if I could convince Richard to put that in the yard. Okay, so I have gotten some funsies from this vendor before, and I do spot... I like this applied blue and white. Is there a chip right there that I see? Um... I don't know. Isn't that pretty? It does have like an 80s vibe. It's obviously hand done. And like a white cased glass. Let me see here. Is this just an indentation on the mold? Hmm. I don't know. It's a little too 80s for me. Uh, oh, juice, Michael. Aggressive. Um, we've got some uh, gumballs. <laughs> uh, oh, 30. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Do we see anything else? The bowl here. I don't actually see a price on that one. Oh, I love those little egg cups. The best wishes. These are cute. Pretty little green slide glass trinket box there. No, I don't see anything else in there, so we'll see what we've got going on on the interior here. Oh, well, actually, let's check out a little baby doll set there. $35. What is it? 22-piece feeding set. Dolly Nurser by Amsco. That's cute. One Dolly something sterilizing kettle and cover one dolly sterilizer rack one board and milk can that's cute alrighty guys it looks like we have a new vendor here and they're a lover of glass uh, up top here hand blown amber that one's at 24 you stay up there we've got a Fenton thumbprint that one's at 48 that's not that bad um, little art glass Where's another? here's like a little I mean even I don't like these cabinets of course it's not oh it's because you just have to pay attention Michael let's get in here this looks like it's an oil burner I don't know that's a pretty color do you put your oil in there in your wick orange art glass vase Lamp base? I agree. Question marks abound. Question marks are abound. Where did was it? Okay, right here. Uh, I don't really see maybe the Italian glass and purple. Hmm. Uh, some Ellie Smith. This one's pretty. Twelve fifty. Ellie Smith. What do we have? Twenty four. On the compote. The candy dish is at forty. To, of course, an Amberina. Don't know. Do we spot anything else? Oh, who are you? Hand blown yellow art glass. That's beautiful. Ugh. Ugh. There's a chippy. Twelve dollars. I'm yeah, I'm gonna snatch it up. I'm not mad at it. I'm really truly not. Dude, look at that. Here. Oh, it looks very louette. Does it not? Okay, all right. 
some dude in here is just coughing left, right, front, and center. I know, I know, but it still makes me nervous. Look at these cats. Sashes. Are they priced separately? Nope, two cats, 1950. Are they ceramic? They yep, I think so. Got the little honey pot here. This one's fun. Polish art glass, 26. Hi, little dude. Look at the little baby. How Quanto Costa. Come here, you. Being difficult on me. 18. Some paint loss on the nose. I don't know, y'all. I've never seen this one. I. A little. Is it a flea bite? No. Paint loss on the tip of the ear. 18. Let's get it. What the, what the heck? We're going to do it. We're going to live on the edge today. Mm, this looks like a contemporary piece, but I do like her. Oh, yep. She's definitely contemporary. I like the mirror here. That one's at 29. Looks to be in good condition. I mean, there is some cracking to it. But it's kind of to be expected for the age. Good price. Ooh. Okay, vendor. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, guys. You remember her. I believe it's from the last video. This is Teresa um, from over at Lewisburg Antique Mall. But we have a bathing beauty here, a bisque figurine at only $10. So we're definitely going to get her out of the case. Um, and I do want to show you. Yeah, I set my basket down. And, um, there's chaos that's going. I mean, not chaos, but... Let's see her. I'm gonna get in here quick. Oh shoot, there's the yellow. I just got the Celadon in this sculpt. I want it, yes. Okay, cool. Look at him, oh my gosh, wait, look. Oh, it's, a, it's a little red. Oh my gosh, it's $3. Let's get him too, cause why not? Okay, so as I add these two to the basket, I do want to show you, I did find these Japan sheep. Um, they're each $5.50. I love them. They have such... Oh, this one doesn't have the tag. I think this one is the one that did. But look at the expression on his face. He's just like, what? And a little bit of a paper label there. But I just think they're so cute. So I am going to go ahead and get the set of those. So... Of course, our bathing beauty is waiting up front for us right now. Gonna add those in there. And we're gonna keep it moving. Ooh, scary. And oh my toys, Santa. He's got the grabby hands. He's at a 60, I'm not mad at it. He looks to be in really good condition, especially because he still has his original belt. I always love seeing them. I know those are a little off-putting to some people, especially the hands, the hands. These are also in Teresa's booth. It's a Let's Tell Time. It looks like we've got uh, Looney Tunes. I wonder if there's a copyright. It looks kind of 60-ish to me. Oh, look at that. 62. They're a dollar. <gasps> oh, stop it. What? Oh my god, that's adorable. They're in really good condition. How do you tell time? This is cool. There's like a whole stack of them. I'm not gonna be greedy. Let me see if there's actually any value on them first. Got them for 12. I was thinking 12, 10, so I can undercut on that. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, five. I'm only gonna get five. I'm not gonna be super greedy. Well, maybe I am, six, seven. <laughs> that one's got loose pages. Eight. Nine. This one looks like it's, something's going on with it. Oh, there's just two stuck in there. Nine. Ten. Okay, we'll leave one behind. <laughs> 
I spy in century. Oh, dang it. It's $40 for the peacock. I don't know. I wouldn't even call that peacock. It's more of almost like an indigo. And then the amber's at 29 But they are both in poly. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> just the optical pattern on Empoli glass. And that's just... Like, if you were walking by it, you know what I mean? Like, let alone actually turning it, especially when you go into a natural light source. I'm sorry, I think in Polyglass, their optic patterns are just so sincerely overrated. Like, lo ho, mes mesmerized by the vintage, by the vintage. There just seems to be a tremendous amount of new vendors in here. And I gotta say this, it's vintage. Um... I am so happy to report that the Silver Moon Antique Mall seems to be concentrating on, you know, vintage and antiques. I'm just shook right now. Dang it. Um, it's usually the opposite. Oh, look at this. Oh, little black cats all chained together and you're $16. Hmm. Narrow. I'm not going to do it. I think that's a really good price. I'm just not feeling it. Look at the Oscar Lodge hook. Oh, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing to come in and see that it's actual vintage and not um, junk. Oh, I just, I said it. I said it. It's not junk. I mean, not everything is my personal aesthetic. It doesn't have, what is, is this? Oh, it's a full round one. Um, you're scaring me, so I'm going to put you in the Shirley Temple. Okay. <laughs> My luck, I set it down and it rolls off the shelf. Um, so that is definitely something happy to report. Let's see, do we have anything over here? I don't think I have anything for me. Oh, there's that. I'm still on the hunt. I'm trying to find one of these. Oh, that one's chipped. Six. Not chipped, it's got a pretty substantial hairline. Cool, we're going to keep on keeping on, guys. This looks like a new vendor, too, and they also have a sale of 10% off. The first thing that caught my eye was... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> bling-eyed. He is definitely a bling-eyed little pupper there. $12 on that one. Oh, holy anthropomorphic marching band. These ones are 21. They're Napco. We've got corn, pepper playing the flute, and tomato playing the harp there. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what else. Oh, we've got some diamond pottery. I have never seen this be a mini planter before in my life. That's strange 14 and then we have the kitty here that one's at 14 cuddles the cat that's right first ski to horse it's a pitcher i'm just ugh. i'm getting to the point i'm on maximum overload with the rumple the diamond pottery uh, unless of course it's like super unusual which I mean, I guess Frisky was, but, um, you know, fair pricing. I will say that. Lots of Cabbage Patch Kids here for you. Um, I think that the thing that was most tempting, of course, is the Anthropomorphic. But, you know, at 21, I think that's going to be left for a collector. Though there is a 10% off sale. So, but it's a little, it's Jersey Girl Vintage. Get it, Miss Jersey Girl. Jersey, Jersey, look at that. Ooh, that's only 15, stop, no it's not $15. Is that $15? Wait a minute. There's like no chips or cracks on, oh wait, is there? Let's get to end this light here. Uh, I'm seeing something right here. Uh, I'm gonna investigate a little bit further here. Seeing it right here in this pole, I don't know if it's gonna read, but it does appear that it's not an actual fracture or anything. There is also another one here. I think it is a straw mark that was created from the tool in the pool, but at pole at $15, I, 
it's clear glass but holy moly is that a statement piece or what definitely getting this one speak of the elizabeth arden there it is treasuries of the pharaohs there is a little cat trinket box Get out back there. We've got the lead stag at 30 and there is a bunny. I've never seen the bunny before. Those are in fact German and I'm really digging it. We've got 20% off everything with cash or check. Now they were very smart here at the Lewisburg, no pardon me, the Silver Moon Antique Mall. They put an ATM in the building so you can actually take cash out. The bunny, it appears, is, let me see if I can peek. The bunny's at 20. I'm going to get both of those. Richard will collect the stag. I'm gonna keep the bunny, truth be told. Of course, we've got a glass collection. They're being patriotic in their red, white, and blue. I do like the little sweet meats or the biscuit jar here in the wave crest. That one's at 130. Now this is a transferred image. You really wanna keep your eye out for those hand painted ones. We've got, what do you have this as? International Polish. Um, it's pretty, but I'm seeing a little too much rippling in the clear glass for my comfort. We do have some milk glass. This one's an unusual piece here. We've got Thumbprint Pedestal 28. Single horn apron here in the Fenton. And this one is at 60. Alrighty guys, and I did find this Alice in Wonderland. Now there are some condition issues to it, but I did look this up and oh my goodness. We have a little tattering right here. It does have an inscription, so it looks like at one time 1918 and also in 1921. But there are, I believe I counted four full color illustrations. This is interesting, um, but you know, are there some condition issues? Yes, but it's Alice in Wonderland. Look at it. Oh, we're snatching it up for 1850. So with the addition of Alice, don't forget we got that $15 lamp, or not lamp, my Lord, Michael, the Jack in the Pulpit, the Clear, plus the Bathing Beauty. I am really pleased. We'll do the wrap up outside. Alrighty guys, well, there you have today's shop with me video. I was thinking about going to the Antique Mall, a little short on time right now, so we're going to keep this video where it is. As always, you guys down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.